You know, there were a lot of really wonderful actresses on the original version of Battlestar Galactica that aired during the late 70s on ABC TV. Among those actresses was the forever young Jane Seymour, but truth be told, none were more strikingly beautiful than Marin Jensen, who played Lieutenant Athena, Commander Adama's only daughter. The role of Athena was originally intended to be central to the TV series, but after greetings from Earth, Marin departed from the show even though she was still credited in the season's remaining episodes. So what the heck happened? Well, based on my research, it would seem that Marin's departure from the show was, at least in part, due to her rocky relationship with producer Glenn A. Larson, who lost patience with the novice actress, especially when she struggled to deliver lines with the resonance that her counterparts seemed to do effortlessly. It's my belief that those struggles ultimately helped her to make a very difficult decision to walk away from the show. Rumor has it that many of the story ideas that were originally created for Marin's Athena character were adapted for Anne Lockhart's Lieutenant Sheba. Not sure how much of that is true, but if you're a fan of the series, it's hard not to notice how Sheba's role becomes more prominent throughout the season. I can only imagine how hard the whole deal was for Marin. There had been so much publicity about her being on the show, and then to have the role of Athena slowly diminish over the course of the season, well, like I said, that had to be really hard. That's not to say that we didn't see Marin again. Nope, she's not a quitter, and she wouldn't let her setback on the set of Battlestar Galactica keep her down. Marin showed up on programs like The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Battle of the Network Stars. Holy cow, this is a great photo. Debbie Boone, Joyce DeWitt, and Marin. I love Battle of the Network Stars so much. Pretty girl. She's not going to need a lot of luck in her career. She's been a model in the past, but right now, one of the stars of Battlestar Galactica, playing the role of Athena. It's the name of a Greek goddess, and she almost looks like one, together with Lorne Green and Richard Hatch. And she likes to tell about how the whole thing feels when she's on the set. I think the most intriguing thing is seeing the show once it's all put together because we, the actors don't do the whole thing. We are only a part of the whole and seeing the effects and I get real excited when I'm out there flying a plane and I see it jetting through space and yet when I'm doing it, you know, it's just right there on the old stage. So that, that's exciting. It is. I mentioned that she plays the role of Athena and it's a perfectly appropriate name for the young woman who looks like a Greek goddess. In 1981, Marin was in the Wes Craven film Deadly Blessing with Sharon Stone. Personally, I think that Marin was truly beginning to hold her own as an actress. Jensen's work in this film really showed promise. Unfortunately, after Deadly Blessing, Marin contracted Epstein-Barr syndrome, which is a virus that even today is not fully understood. As an adult, its symptoms can include such things as fatigue, fever, inflamed throat, swollen lymph nodes, an enlarged spleen, swollen liver, or rash. Bottom line, it's not a good thing. Around the same time, Marin began a relationship with singer Don Henley of the Eagles. It was a bond that would last for years. In 1985, Marin made a cameo for the video, Not Enough Love in the World. Although they broke up shortly afterwards, Jensen and Henley remain friends and have worked together for causes that they believe in. Case in point, Jensen helped Henley establish the Walden Woods Project in the early 90s, an organization dedicated to protecting the Walden Woods area in Concord, Massachusetts from development. I wish there was more to share about Marin, but she's been very purposeful in stepping away from the limelight, and in order to respect that privacy, I've made the decision not to share any more about her personal life here. So there you go. End of the day, I guess it's just good to know that it wasn't the Cylon that ended Marin's time on Battlestar Galactica. So what do you think? Did you enjoy her work on Battlestar Galactica? Or did you enjoy later episodes with Lieutenant Sheba more? Let me know what you think in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, 
Thank you so much for watching.